I'm back. Super excited to be back in school. And uh, it's been really nice seeing some of you. To those of you that are home, hello, I miss you. Here are some upcoming things that you need to know about. First of all, for those of you who I haven't met, on YouTube, my name is Mrs. Strawberry. To find out my real name, those of you in school need to open up your Google Classroom. So those of you in hybrid school, you will get sent into your Google Classroom at school. Those of you in virtual school, you should have been sent an invitation already. So look for the Google Classroom invitation and join my art class. The first thing that's coming up is our mask project. And this is really exciting. This is a project created by Cassie Stevens, who is an art teacher in Tennessee. And so those of us in hybrid art class have been taking part in that. If you had, have not had live art class and your art class comes up, that is our first project. Project. There are two parts to it. There's the one part that's for kindergarten and first grade. And there's a second part that's more complicated that is for second through fifth. Now, first graders at home, if you see the more complicated version and you like it and it's okay with your parents, go for it. It's up to you. So first project is your math project that will take about two classes. Whoa, art steady. That'll take about two classes to complete. So do that and have a lot of fun. I hope you love it. The next thing that you can do is I'm setting up some art centers so you will have choice. These will be represented on our website. And I have created a crayon center. It has projects that are beginning, intermediate, and advanced. So if you're in younger grades, definitely choose the beginning. Now the advanced kids, if you want to start out with something more simple, you can. Don't stay there the whole time. Um, now, a lot of those advanced projects are very advanced, so uh, you might you might try intermediate at first um, to see what will work best for you. I am also creating a watercolor center, so you will take a look at a lot of different beginning, intermediate, advanced watercolor projects and choose the one that's right for you. So we're going to be working at our own pace. If you've worked with centers before, um, you know that there's a lot of choice involved. So you're going to get to choose your own projects. Pretty cool, huh? Then, after you've cho chosen your own project, you'll work on it for a, a class or a couple classes. We want to focus on craftsmanship and making our art projects as good as they can be. So when it is finished and awesome and you have done your best work, you're going to get to photograph your artwork. Yep. What do you think about that? Oh. Art is wondering why you're going to photograph your artwork. Well, here's why. Because we are going to make Google Slides art portfolios. A number of you have made Google Slides before. So each time we finish an artwork, we're going to take a picture of it with our Chromebook. we got to figure out how to do that. I may make a video about that. Or with our cell phone or our parents' cell phones, we can then save it into Google Drive and insert it into our Google Slides portfolio. So by the end of the year, we'll have a collection of a number of your awesome artwork. So more information coming with that. The website and you will find that there is a Google Slide portfolio instruction section. So on there you will have written instructions and you will have a screencast of me going through and showing you how to create your Google Slides art portfolio. On the website and in the Google Classroom you will also find instructions for creating an artist statement. Artist statements. They are your chance to tell everyone about your awesome artwork. If you're a kindergartner, all you have to do is give your artwork a name. So that sounds pretty fun, right? And first graders, one sentence about your art. Second grader, two, third, three, fourth, four, fifth, five. And in the web page about the artist statements, there are some questions that you can answer for your artist statement. So that will help you out. If you want to talk about something beyond that, that's fine. So if you're having trouble with the Google Slides presentation or the artist statement, just do your best. I don't want you guys to stress about any of these. Feel free to communicate and let me know if there's a problem or if something's too hard and we will adjust it. This is all experimentation and some things will work and some things won't and we will adjust. And what I care most about is that you are trying and that you are participating and uh, just communicate about what's going on. Supplies. Your teachers have gotten or have given you supply lists. And some of those things that we're going to be use, using for art are in your grade level supplies, but then if you look at the supply list at the top, there is an art section, and it has different art supplies that we're going to need. So uh, I'm seeing a lot of students come to school without those. If you can look, check that list out again and come back to school with some of your supplies, it's going to help us out because we're trying not to share supplies because we don't want them to give us germs. Also, um, when you're at home, whatever you have at home is what you'll use 
for your at-home artwork. So, for example, if you have pencils and, and paper only, then you're going to have to stick more to, like, the cartoon drawing and the real-life drawing. But if you have some things like crayons or watercolor at home, then you can choose those as well. I have a feeling that everyone's going to like watercolor a lot. So if you like watercolor and want to do a lot of watercolor... Um, ask your parents to look for would be a watercolor paper pad and if you could get an ex inexpensive one of those it might work better for you because watercolor can tear through normal paper it will work but um, the watercolor paper might work better for you just an idea so those are some updates if you are having complications or frustrations feel free to communicate with me this is trial and error so we will do the best we can and that's that's all I expect for you. That's all we can ask is that you're trying your best and having fun with the process. So I miss you and I'm looking forward to seeing your artwork.